talk to the judge, he's going to grant you bail. That's why they brought me back here. It's great news, but why would he change his mind? The witness recanted. She said she was lying. Well, of course she was. I've been saying that all along. Who was it? Who was it? Lark told the police she saw you stab your father. Lark? Lark did this to me? I'm going to kill her. Hello. Hi. Any mail for me? Uh, nope. All for me today. Then why does that letter have Bennett Devlin's name on it? Uh, new postman on the route? Lucy, what did you do? My civic duty. Uh-huh. According to Lucy logic? Someone has to get Julie Devlin out of jail. How? By stealing a dead man's mail? I came by all this mail is not really important. What's important is what I'm achieving here. I realize this may not matter to you, but do you know that stealing mail is a federal offense? Oh, Louis, that, that doesn't matter really. I don't think it's that serious because after all, he's not going to read the mail. Devlin's dead. Don't use that reasoning at your trial. But I, I am helping the investigation here, Doc. You really have to see what I got. No, I'm not interested. Well, yes, you are. You are because guess what? This is a bill from a private investigator, Devlin hired. Now guess who Devlin hired this investigator to investigate? Eve Lambert. Well, duh. Eve was suing Devlin for harassment. Don't you think that Devlin might have hired a detective to dig up anything he could find to force Eve to drop the suit? Yes. Yes, I do. And what if what he found was so serious that Eve knocked off Devlin to ensure his silence? That does not sound like the woman who helped us put Rex behind bars. You know, we were grateful to her for that. You know, that's exactly right, but women like that use gratitude. Has it escaped you entirely that Eve has an alibi for the time of the murder? Her alibi happens to be Chris Bramby. So what? So they are not the innocent friends they're pretending. And what led you to that conclusion? Well, because aren't Scott and Eve dating? They're supposed to be getting very close. I caught Chris and Eve kissing. Why did you explain why you were spying on them? Doug, I was not spying. They happened to be kissing in a very public place. I caught them scheming in Scott's lab. You know, I've seen the way Eve looks at Scott. If there's a problem between them, I'm sure it'll blow over. Doc, what is it? Why are you defending this woman? Because your motives are less than pure. That's why. What you want, your very best friend in the whole world, dating a killer. She is not a killer, Lucy. And you're not on some grand pursuit of justice either. Your only goal in this is to break up Scott and Eve because you're jealous. You are doing the wrong thing for the wrong reasons. First Lark almost gets you killed with her theatrical demands for attention. Now she's lied about me when my entire life is on the line? What's next? A knife in my back? I'm dealing with Lark. Well, put her behind bars and let her discover what it feels like. All rise for the Honorable Justin C. Murdoch. Where is she? Come on, come on. Pipe down. Make a good impression. Court's in session. We're back on the record in the Devon case. Uh, counselor, I'm ready to entertain your new petition for bail. You have more information? Yes, Your Honor. Eyewitness for the prosecution has just recanted her testimony. The district attorney's office and myself feel that my client should be granted bail. Ms. Jensen? The state is willing to allow bail. I'll take the DA's uh, recommendation under advisement. Dr. Dillon, if I let you out of here, are you going to run away on me? No, sir. I intend to fight this charge and clear my name. Given the DA's change of heart, I will release the defendant on bail. Bail is set at $1 million. $1 million? 
But, Your Honor, that's way out of proportion. This is a first-time defendant. She has access to greater means than most of the population. I can't get that no. much. There's no way she can raise that kind of money. Until she does, she stays in jail. Your Honor, I'm Nicole Devlin, Julie's mother. I can post bail. Maybe he copycatted that murder from your book. Maybe she's trying to set you up. Do you hear yourself? Yes, I do, and I seem to be the only person making sense in this room. <laughs> I thought I was the crazy one. Why does nobody see you even like I do? I'm going to get that door. <sighs> Oh, oh, sorry, come in. I'm sorry, did I come at a bad time? No, you didn't, get in here. No, because we're, we're completely finished. I'm taking my mail, excuse me, and Your go. Your mail, oh, that's a good one. Well, possession is nine-tenths of the law, buddy. I am so sorry to interrupt. I'm glad you did. <laughs> what can I do for you? They've offered me the job in San Diego. That is terrific, Helen. Congratulations. It was such a big opportunity. Why am I so terrified? I don't know. What are you afraid of? Making a mistake. Ah, yes, mistakes. You know, that's the one thing that drives terror in the hearts of perfectionists everywhere. Would you like to be a little more specific? Have you ever been attractive to someone that you work with? More specifically, someone that you supervise? I think most of us have been faced with that at some point. Is this about Dr. Harmon? How'd you guess? Well, he comes up in our conversations often. Ellen, do you have feelings for him? Well, Matt has said for a long time that there is something between us. What do you say? I've made sure to keep him at arm's length. Because you don't return his feelings? Or because you do? You know, Kevin, I don't wear my heart on my sleeve. I mean, I, I, I know that it's fashionable to spill your guts to the world, but I'm not built that way. Yes, I have feelings for Matt. I said it. What good does it do? You tell me. How does it feel? Scary. I don't want to care about another person that I have to lose. Right. Like your husband. I can't go through that kind of pain again. You realize, of course, that by leaving, you're ensuring that you will lose him. It's like hell. Why are you saying all this to me? Because I'm afraid to say it to Matt. Yes, I'd like to request a copy of my credit report, please. This is Chris Ramsey. Uh, I'll have to call you back later. Thank you. Who is it? Johnny, good delivery. <laughs> I got your favorite, garlic tofu. Okay. Why don't you set it down there? I'll get some drinks. Oh, you know what? We're going to need plates, too. Okay. So, um, what's up? You seem kind of distracted. Well, you know, I have my own theory about this murder at the hospital. First of all, there's no way that Julie could have done it. Well, I'm inclined to agree with you on that one. She is way too gentle. Mm hmm So what do you think happened? Chris happened. You think Chris killed Devlin? Devlin always seemed to be riding Chris. But there's more to it than that, Grace. There's something fishy going on with those two. Oh, but fishy doesn't mean Chris a murderer. Well, he almost got us killed. Maybe he's getting better with practice. God, we have to work with the guy. I'd hate to think that... Oh, oh hey, oh, oh, oh! Are you God, burned, Grace? What, are no, you all right? It's hot. Ow, all right, listen, ow. go to the bathroom okay. and hop in the shower or ow, something. Ow. I'm... I'm sorry about the mess. Oh, no, okay. forget about it. Listen, there's a towel on the back of the door. Okay. And uh, feel free to wear some of my clothes. Okay. I don't want to make a decision either way and have regrets. 
What do you think you'd regret more? Leaving a job or leaving someone who might have brought intimacy back into your life? I hate questions like that. Like what? Questions with obvious answers that I'd rather not face. I've gotten quite good at avoiding them. And you can't avoid your emotions, and you know that. I know what I want to do. You knew before you got here. Thank you. You did most of the talking. Thank you for listening. I'm going to see Matt now. I think it's time I told him how I feel. Is that a good thing? That's a good thing. Mother, I'm so glad you're here. I'm only sorry it took me so long. I got the first plane from Nice when I heard. Are you all right? I would have never gotten through this without Frank. It's too bad he had to leave. I wanted to thank him. You'll have a chance later. Mom, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Of course you didn't. You're not capable of such a horrible thing. It can't be easy for you. Are you okay? I will be. We both hated him and loved him in the same heartbeat, didn't we? Excuse me. I wanted to welcome you home, Julie. I'm so sorry. These are for you. I know they're not nearly enough. Aren't you going to say anything? When I first heard how you lied about me, I wanted to strangle you with my bare hands. But then I realized it was probably that kind of mindless rage that resulted in my father's death. And I'm better than that. I must have really made you hate me to tell a lie like that to the police. I will never lie about you again. I promise. Of course not. Things will be different around here. Won't they, Mark? Come on, Lee. General Hospital doesn't want any more bad publicity. Let's just uh, settle up here with Eve. But Dr. Devlin had valid grounds for her dismissal. Oh, please. I didn't do anything wrong. Do you want to pursue the vendetta of a dead man? No. That's why I discussed the matter earlier with the board. You ready for a horse trade? Come on. Come on. Your client drops the harassment suit. We drop the charges. <sighs> Reinstate her? Well, of course, he's a great doctor. <laughs> With back pay? Oh, now you're pushing it. Well, okay. Headlines or back pay? Take back your pay. Back pay. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks. <laughs> yes. Oh, honey. Mm. Hey, take it to the bedroom. I'm getting reinstated. Woo! <laughs> All right. Woo! <laughs> if you were perhaps able to share the information you learned about Dr. Eve Lambert while you were investigating little Eve for Dr. Devlin. I would be so happy to make it worth your while, take care of all those expenses you might have incurred. You know, by the way, you're probably not going to get paid because, uh, you know, Dr. Devlin is dead. Uh, I'll tell you what I've got, but frankly, uh, I don't think it's worth that much. Ah, so you actually didn't dig up any dirt? No. Well, that probably just means she's very good at covering her tracks. Well, let's see. Uh, honor student at U of Minnesota. Now, that is a skeleton I bet she keeps buried deep in her closet. She has a huge amount of debt. Most young doctors do. Well, that means she's a big, fat deadbeat. There were some unsubstantiated rumors floating around that Dr. Lambert worked for an escort service. No, an escort service. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 buddy, you just hit a big bad payday. Well, Thank you. But I didn't find any proof. Don't worry about that. Lucy will make that up as she goes. Oh, nonsense. Where there's smoke, there's always fire. All I have to do is follow it to its source. Who 
Who is it? It's me, Ellen. Uh, what are you doing here? There's something I need to tell you. Ma, I don't see any sweatpants back there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Oh, don't be silly. I just, I spaced out and they spilled food all over me. Yeah, and I was just cleaning up the last of it. So why don't you come on in? No. I just came by to tell you that I'm taking a job in San Diego. Uh, well, that's a big move. But an exciting one. Let's, uh, hear the details. Some other time. Sorry to interrupt your evening. You're back. Yeah, I, uh, I forgot something, so I decided my errands could wait. Well, you're just in time for me to thank you for looking after Julie by letting me make you both dinner. Yeah, uh, you, you don't have to do that. I'm, I'm just relieved you're here. Julie needs you. Frank is right. And we'd like to cook dinner for you to thank you for putting up bail. Remember when I made dinner for you and Dad? That was a wonderful meal. I'll never cook for him again. We'll never have another dinner or holiday. I wouldn't even spend Christmas with him. Now I'll never have another chance. Honey, I'm sure whatever happened between you and your father, he knew that you loved him. I hope so. What's for dinner? <laughs> Spoken like a true teenager. I was thinking about making spaghetti. Well, if you're going to make sauce from scratch, you need to use extra virgin olive oil. We don't have any. You know, I could go to the store and pick up what you need. Spaghetti sauce is my specialty. I want to make my mom's recipe. It has some uh, secret ingredients. Just make me a list. I'll write it down for you. Julie, do you have a pen? Oh, I'm sure we've got one somewhere around here. Uh, here we go. Oh, my God. What is it? This is my pen. The graduation gift Dad gave me, the one they accused me of stabbing him with. Well, that's been here all along. J Julie, this could get you off. Now, if you'll just sign right here, put this whole business behind us. Yeah. With back pay. They'll cut the check tomorrow. This is great. You're being reinstated just in time for the pediatric circus. Oh. Woohoo! Break out the champagne. Not yet, man. Not until I sign on every one of these little dotted lines. A grand occasion like this, and you're using a cheap ballpoint. What happened to that fancy pen Devlin gave you? I don't know. I lost that a long time ago. Are you kidding me? It was worth at least 200 bucks. Who cares, man? I didn't spring for it. Mm, it's too bad. It'd be a fitting way to sign off on all the trouble Devlin cost you. Who cares? As long as it's over. $200? Must have been some pen. A pen is a pen is a pen. As far as I'm concerned, anything over a buck ninety-nine is a waste. You're welcome back, Dr. Lambert. Thank you very much. I finally have my life back. Eve, the call girl, certainly wouldn't use her own name. She's got to have had an alias like Bambi Bubbles or Candy Cane Lane. All right, Lucy, the fun and games are over. This is serious. Yes, Doc, I certainly hope it if is. If this rumor turns out to be true, are you sure you want to be the kind of person who goes to Scott and tells him something like that about the woman he cares about? Yes. 
If it is true, then Scott really needs to know. You're only going to hurt him. And maybe your friendship. Now, Scott doesn't exactly impress me as the kind of guy who always distinguishes between the message and the messenger. You want to take that risk? Tonight, hear what the Unabomber wrote in his personal journal on 2020. Then, they defend criminals, but tonight the victim of the crime is one of their own. Dylan McDermott and Lara Flynn Boyle star in the show the New York Times calls one of the best dramas around. Don't miss this all-new episode of The Practice, ABC Tonight. Is Lucy trying to come between Scott and Eve? Take today's Poor Charles Daily Poll, only on ABC.com.